So as I was saying before the phone decided to crap out, the guy that did the ceiling, as you can see there, I don't think he exactly knew what he was doing. And so the end result is I think the whole ceiling is made out of plywood. Now, I do know that there's metal up top or something. I don't know if he put a rubber roof over top of that or what. And it's not leaking because it's been raining all day, but... As you can see out there, gloom and doom. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know there is no leaks, and that's always a good thing. So, I'm not going to complain. How about that? I'll probably put me a little fantastic fan or something up in there because it's like a gaping square hole, but it's closed, it's just there. and yeah, I just need to do something with that. And, uh, I might keep, I don't know if I'm going to keep that air conditioner or not. But I probably will, actually. And I'll probably just take that back window out right there and put me a window unit in it. Because what it is, a 5,000 BTU window unit, I can run that off the truck. All I got to do is wire up the inverter. I got a 1500 watt inverter. Wire up the inverter and plug it in. It's just that simple. Uh, 5000 BTUs is 500 watts, just so you know. Uh, 6000, 6600 watts, and so on and so forth. But 1500 watts won't run that. Uh, so it runs some of them, just not that one. Let me see. It might. No. Nope, it won't. That's a no code. No, I won't run that one. It'll run some of them, but it won't run that one. Especially on, like, the newer campus. It'll run them. But, yeah, I'll probably put a window unit in here in the back. Somehow, I'm going to figure out a way to make that window open and close. I haven't figured it out yet, but it's coming. And, uh, what else? Yeah, that's it so far. I didn't put a refrigerator in here. If anybody has any spare RV refrigerators within like 300 miles of here, let me know. I mean, I don't mind driving, but man, paying $700 for an RV refrigerator is ridiculous. I can buy a pop-up camper and take everything out and use it in here for all that. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Anyway, so... As I always say, if you haven't told somebody you love them today, please make sure you do. And, uh, yeah. That about sums it up. Oh, look at that. This is big ass spider. Yeah, go on through the hole in the floor. Oh, shit. He's attacking an ant. Can y'all see that? That's crazy. Okay, anyway, I'm getting out of here now. I don't like spiders. I don't do spiders. do a lot of things, but spiders ain't one of them. Whew. Okay, and that's that for that, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!